There will not be a mean-spirited, hateful bone in my body when I say this, but I will mean it. If anybody in this tent, if anybody online, shout anybody. I don't care who they are. If anybody can show me one place in the Bible that God ever says to us that the gifts are no longer in operation. Anybody. I will personally hand you a check for $20,000. That's how sure I am that your theology is stupid. If anybody can show me one spot in the Bible where the gifts have said, I see y'all digging that. <laughs> you ain't gonna find it. Well, Greg, I'm anybody. And I'm not gonna tell you that the gifts have ceased. I'm in agreement that I don't think that the gifts have ceased, but I will offer a counter offer. My counter offer is almost in the same vein, and that's this. If you can show me anywhere, anybody on the planet can show me anywhere in the Bible where the gifts, the type of gifts that you say are in existence today, if you can show me those in the Bible, well, then I will also offer a reward. What I mean by that is this. If the gifts that you say that are in place today, the prophecies, the kind of prophecies that are not 100%, what I mean by that are the prophecies, the kind of prophecies like today that are not 100%. In other words, they're hit or miss. They're vague. They're not specific. Those kind of prophecies. We don't see those in the Bible. Or how about healings? The kind of healings that no one has any sort of verifiable proof, the kind of healings that are uh, over the course of time that require doctors, that require medical attention, that kind of healing, that kind of gift of healing. Also with tongues. I'm not talking about the kind of tongues that we see today, the kind of tongues that not the hearer, not the speaker, no one understands the kind of tongues where there are no, there's no interpretation, the kind of tongues, unlike in the Bible, where there's an actual language attached to it, and it's for the benefit of magnifying Christ and sharing the gospel. I don't see that gift in the Bible. Or casting out of demons. One, we cannot verify that the person that you cast demons out even had a demon. Two, that the person was a Christian because we don't see that Christians in the Bible had a demon or were demonized. And so I would like to offer a counter that if you, anyone, anybody, including you, Greg, I'm taking you up on your challenge, sort of, that if you can demonstrate that the gift that you're speaking of the gifts that you are asking, the gifts that you are putting money up for, if those gifts are actually in the Bible. Now, I don't have $20,000, but I do have something else just as valuable. I have my daughter's cat. Anyone that can disprove or show what I'm looking for in the Bible, you can have my daughter's cat, Zion. Now, she would be very upset with me, but I'm confident that we won't lose this bet. She won't have to lose her cat because there's no such passages in the Bible that will demonstrate that not that the gifts that you're talking about have ceased, no, that the gifts that you're talking about have ever existed in the first place. So, Mr. Locke or anyone else, please take me up on this offer.